Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 1994 Monorail um, Land Rover Defender 90 X Military uh, 2.5 diesel. Um, now I have to say, looking around it, this is one of the, um, in my opinion, one of the nicer X Military diesels I've seen for a long time actually. Um, finished as usual in IRR drab with uh, military tilt. Um, pretty much standard military spec. We'll go around it and point things out. It's got a set of wolf wheels on it, a set of uh, certainly four, I don't know if the spare is a wolf one, but certainly the, the road wheels are wolves, with um, uh, a matching set of uh, Michelin military spec tyres, all five of them. It's got front light guards, um, it's got the uh, uh, military front bumper with the centre pin, front grille has been replaced with a, uh, a civilian one. Um, instantly it does come with a big box of spares and I think the, the original military grill is in there although it's not a lot different it's just you know painted olive drab. Um, spare on the bonnet it's been fitted with a new set of gloss black um, wheel arch eyebrows obviously military ones would be um, IRR drab as well so that's a slight difference I suppose um, and it's also acquired a set of um, wind up window doors although the early type with the, uh, the lift up handles so I can't say what that's all about, um, but originally, of course, it would have had sliding windows, I think. Um, unless it was a military experiment, I don't know. Um, it's got the radio aerial mount there, and say so military tilt. Around the back, it's got rear bumperettes, it's got NATO tow hook. And say so inside, we've got a big box of spares, and inside, it's got rear bench seats on both sides. Um, the original military driver and front passenger seat, uh, but the middle seat is a civilian style middle seat. So it is actually a seven seater, although there aren't any belts for the rear seats. It's not a legal requirement. It's got the proper military roll bar in it. Uh, that's about it spec wise. Yeah, it's not, oh and it's got the, um, the winterised uh, air intake on it as well. Which is quite a nice extra feature. Um, it's a 12 volt one, it's not 24 volt, and it's a general service rather than a, um, an FFR model, although it has got the, the mounts on the front for, um, uh, for the radio boxes, but um, I think it says on the, yeah, truck, light, truck utility light GS cargo soft top on the uh, chassis plate. Um, it wasn't that long ago released, I don't think. Um, I have to look at the history, but I think it was released about 2013. Um, and it's so really straight and tidy. Um, and underneath and bulkhead and everything, from what I've seen of it, all look very good. We'll have a look at. Uh, we'll stick the video under the back end a bit later on. But around the front end, say so it is painted in NATO IRR drab, um, and I think it's probably been sort of rolled on, which is the norm because it's very difficult to spray this. Um, but it's a normal military finish. That's how they're supposed to be. Um, very straight and dent free looking down the sides. Was there a slight dink in the offside front wing? No, can't see one there. Um, near side front wing, there's a very slight dink just there. Um, just a little dent in the barrel side, no more than that. Uh, it all looks good there. Sort of a quick peep underneath there, as you can see, chassis wires and everything down there it looks rather good. Back up top again, scuttle corner is spot on, no issues there, the screen looks to be in good shape. Um, touch of red paint showing up on the around the screen top, I don't know why that is, unless it's a military police one or something. Um, a post all looks good. Uh, as I say, it's got the, the, the modesty cover on the near side is slightly sort of bent in just down there underneath the door. Um, and again, a little bit at the front. As I say, it's got these um, the early type doors with the windy windows, but the correct sort of you know, military style lift up handles. Um, frame is actually very good on the near side. Uh, door card is a little bit tatty here and there. Um, up there on the bulkhead corner, if you can see it on the video because the sun is shining, but there's no holes or anything there at all. All looks good down 
there. Obviously the footwell is good. Uh, passenger seat is fine, one or two minor marks on it. Middle, middle seat, again one or two little marks on it. Aside from that, it's got all its proper military dash and everything. The tilt is in good shape, there's no sort of pinholes in it at all that I can see. Seat boxes all look to be good. Um, as I say, the tilt's got a few sort of watermarks and stuff on it, but no more than that. Proper military tilt. Near side rear wing is fine. Let's show you under the back here. I think it's had a new rear cross member on it at some point in the some point recently. But the actual chassis itself, again, as you can see, looks rather good. Um, around the tail end, all looks very tidy. Cross member's been painted in gloss black. We talked about inside with the rear bench seats and everything. As I say, there are there are a couple of boxes of spares, including military radiator blind and things that come with it. Looking down the offside, again, straight and tidy for a military one. And let's have a look under here again. Really not bad at all, I don't think. Uh, Driver's door, again the modesty cover is slightly crinkly, but uh, driver's door fine, except that hasn't been painted in there in IRR drab. Um, scuttle corner on the outside, all looks spot on, no issues there. A post all good, offside front wing all good. Let's go back to the side. Again, the door frame is fine, no problems there, but again, the door card itself is a little bit tired, but um, hasn't at least got a hole in it there, which the passenger one has. Uh, again, up the bulkhead side. Looks okay there. A bit of rubber trim hanging down there, which needs to be stuck back on, which we can do. Um, footwell, fine. Driver's seat has got a small tear in the vinyl on the outside of the seat but the actual seat itself is fine. Dash, you've got that plate there about the um, uh, wolf wheels. That's <laughs> probably a, an infield repair there on the dash. Um, just obviously a bolt's come out and they've done it like that but uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Gives a bit of military character. Um, that's about it. I rather like it. Well I do like it. I think it's rather good. As I say, that is my opinion. You really should view it and make your own. But uh, so we won't be bound by that. It's no good saying to me, you said it was a good one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it seems to be uh, a nice up together military 90. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. End.